Hello and welcome back to Unreal Return to Napale. So it's been quite a uh, break between the last episode and this one. And now I got a semi-fixed build. As in, some of the issues have been fixed and then more things got broken. Um, well, that's because the technology behind this has been updated and it's now running under SDL 2 instead of SDL 1.2 which means it will in the future run under Wayland natively and whatnot so it's very awesome and everything like that. There's also a new audio engine which I'm going to be using just to test it and whatnot. It to me sounds pretty nice already, it has occlusion and whatnot. So yeah, but what I want to show right now is uh, some of the things, well, tie up the loose ends of the bot matches. So I showed two maps with a game type that replaced the weapons, and I just wanted to go over them once more without that, so you could actually see what the original weapon layout was. So let's do regular deathmatch. Uh, in daybreak, just 8 minutes because I wanted to show 3 maps in one time. And let's put 2 bots because daybreak is pretty small. Yeah, so let's do that. So, there's a stinger here. And there are jump boots right there. So you can get the super health pack by doing this. Also, I forgot to uh, put the music on. So this actually uses Phantom. Alright. And the 8-ball gun is... whoa. It's always this a problem. The 8-ball gun is pretty useful here. Because you can load up Lots of grenades, and then just lob it as soon as you see any enemy. Whoa, really? Come on! And yes, the flat cannon is one of the best things to use in this map itself. Now, So one of the things that actually broke in this new build is the scroll wheel. Oh. Oh. Wait, it was fixed recently, okay. So never mind. I can actually switch weapons now. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Huh, okay. I'll take it. Alright. Oh, really? Oh, give me back my flat cannon. Ow. Ow, that hurt a lot. I don't even know who hit me. Oh! Again, I don't know what hit me. But yes, you can hear the uh, ambient occlusion there. Pretty nice. Shield belt! Yes. And there goes my shield belt. Yep, there goes my shield belt. And this is the worst weapon ever. At least for this situation. Uh, give me an actual weapon. Thank you. Uh, that won't work. Skill boss are pretty tough. Okay, there's health here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea where they take the amp from. I have no idea where it is. But enemies seem to just have it lying around somewhere. Hmm. And 
since I'm quite out of practice at this point, I'm pretty sure I won't do that well. Against skilled boss especially, because they're pretty ruthless. Ah, worked. No. Okay, that works. Huh, nice. Back me up. Oh no, missed it. Right, black. Get the belt. Perfect. Get the health. Perfect. And let's look at what's here. Is the amp somewhere here? Hmm. Because that's strange. How would they uh, keep the amp for that long, otherwise? And there's another person with an amp. I'm getting away. Yes, as you can see, there are also both uh, Return to Nepali weapons and regular weapons in this game. Although, in the first playthrough through this uh, map, you only saw the Return to Nepali weapons, because that game type actually replaces all of the regular weapons with the Return to Nepali ones. Scar with their super high amount of health. Oh, there's the amp. Also, I'm not running the weapon sounds and footstep sounds mutators. Whoops. I thought the game would remember that, but no, apparently it didn't. Nice. So far, I'm doing fairly well. Oh no! That was a grenade! How did that happen? Well, to be fair, the guy was above me, so... That can actually happen. And there's nothing to be gained from this. No, don't do that. Whoa. Okay. Ha. Ah. Take that. Take that. Take that. So yes, two bots are quite enough, as you can see. Ow. Version pistol. Huh. Gotcha. Oh no. Okay, let's heal up. I said let's heal up, not let's lose health. Like there's oh, it's just health, okay. So it well, that's true. The amp lasts forever, and good job suiciding. The amp lasts forever, as long as, well, not really forever, but almost forever, as long as you don't use an energy weapon. So that's why they managed to keep it on for so long. Alright, well, let's see who won. Oh! I won by a tie. Nice. 
Alright, now I want to go to another uh, another map which has cannon. And it is the first map that I went through, which was DM Terra. Oh. Before doing that, let's enable all these nice mutators and remember, yes. All right. I did not start the music, really. Okay, now it will. Okay, well, two bots isn't that much in this map. I basically wanted to show how to get some of the things in several areas here. So the shield belt is pretty obvious. What is here? No, oh, that's just something that connects different places, okay. Okay, so dive down. Get the shield belt. Who's shooting me? Hmm. Well, in any case, this is still a grenade launcher. This place still has the car. Here, however, we have a singer and the super health pack. And uh, yes, the uh, cloak still exists as well. Let's see if we can find any of the boss. That's rifle. I can still f jump pretty high with the cloak. Eh? Well. Ah, take that. Okay, well, any more enemies? Doesn't look like it. As long as you control the power-ups, and in this map it's not very difficult to do it, should be fine. Oops. And now my cloak kind of bugged out. Hmm. Maybe I should report that as a bug, because it clearly has one. Nobody really tested the, uh, the cloak that much, because it's found only in a few maps. And the unfortunate thing is that, for the most part, custom maps never have all of these Return to Nepali items. Because people tend to want their maps to have the most compatibility with all the different versions of Unreal. So they don't include all of this Return to Nepali content, which is unfortunate in my opinion. Because at this point, I really don't think there is anyone who doesn't own Unreal Gold and only has the stock Unreal. So I think that it's kind of a missed opportunity. In a fashion. Of course, now that there is patch 227, there's another set of missed opportunities that people have when they don't use 227 features. But like, both of these are a bit orthogonal to one another. Because you need to be mindful of both the content new in Unreal Gold and the expansion, as well as content new to Unreal 2 to 7.
Alright, well, things are going pretty well. Probably should have switched to another weapon, but hey. Whoops. Suicide. Well, that didn't amount to much. Yes, controlling this area is definitely the most important, and I think the bot pathing in this map is uh, not good enough so that they don't actually know that they can jump down and get the cloak. I think. I'm not entirely certain though. I know that the pathing for original maps is absolutely terrible. But yeah, the Return to Napoli maps are probably better. Wow. That was something else. <laughs> Grenade exploded right as the person was riding the elevator. Ha, ah, look at that. Keep the flak. No, oh, I want to keep the flak. Huh, perfect. Oh, I can't e can't even take it. Warp. In Unreal Tournament games, you can always take the items in death matches. Even if you can benefit from it. Alright, well that was pretty easy. So now, let's go to the last map I wanted to show here. And this one requires... Uh, go down. Go down, yes. want to show off the UPAC um, Terran Weapon Match on Deck 16, which is original, as opposed to a Return to Nepal map. So, what this does... Terran Weapons Match replaces all the regular weapons with the Return to Nepali weapons. So instead of a flag cannon, you get the grenade launcher, which is kind of terrible. Of course, the eight ball is replaced by the uh, rocket launcher. Looks like the uh, um, the shock rifle is 
not replaced by anything whatsoever, it's just deleted. Whoa. That was a nice shot. That. Health is, of course, not changed. Let's try and get the, uh, the super health there. And the toxin suit. Oh, the sniper is replaced by the car, okay. Okay, how do I get there? By doing this and missing terribly. Let's try this again. Whoa! Did not see you there. Whoops. Oh no, someone's shooting me! It is you! And I got stuck. Okay, get the rock launcher. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Oh, well, let's take the car. This... Ah, I missed again. Whoa! Grenade! No! Switch weapons, switch weapons. Huh. Cloak. So basically, that means the stinger is replaced with... Who's shooting with the cloak? Uh... Oh. It's sniper loft, okay. That explains that. That's weird that the uh, sniper is replaced with the car and not anything else. Also, there's no way to get this, huh. Because the stinger was precariously placed as it is. Well. You can snipe with a car, but I would imagine that the more logical thing to replace with the car would be the minigun. Yeah, the AI has really, really good accuracy, so dealing with them is not easy when they have the car. Ah, take that. Oh! And got sniped. Uh, oh, there you are. No, go away. Okay, there's... Oh, really? So the original, there are two health pickups instead of five vials. That's... That's interesting, because... Um... This game does have bandages, which are the equivalent of health vials. Though they don't increase your health over 100. So they're just small health pickups. Whoops!
Well, let's try sniping a bit. Any enemies? Well, I'm getting sniped. Huh. Take that. Whoops! Okay, that was not a good idea. Yeah, you can only get these by jumping off the elevator. Whoa. <laughs> well, that was something. Actually, let me verify. What do you get if you get... here? Is there a car here, or is there nothing here? No, oh, there's nothing here. Okay, so... How is this not working here? Okay, now it's working. So yes, for some reason it's the sniper rifle that gets replaced with the car and not the minigun. That's weird. But that's Terran weapons match for ya. Um, okay. There was nothing I could do. And... that was a bad idea. Is there health here? Doesn't look like it. Huh, nice. There's really a spawn point here? Well, it sure deters camping in that case, but I don't ever remember people spawning behind me in deck. Alright, well... That worked out nicely. So, that was that. That was all of the loose ends that I wanted to cover when it comes to bot matches. And next time we will be going through some of the single player loose ends. And a bit of the enhanced edition information. And then after that I'll give the final review and remarks about this game. And finally the uh, playthrough will be over! So yes, yeah, see you all then. Later.